Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Karma Bryant, Car Chronicles. How you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Ready? Let's do this. So I wanted to repeat something that my sister Tasha Lelaman said. There's two things she said. Something that she said on Tuesday really just blew my mind. The first thing that she said, and this was a while ago, and is... Um, when you leave home hungry, you go into the world starving. So a lot of you are wondering, how do you draw these narcissists? And how do I stop drawing these narcissists? Remember, everything that you do is inner work. When you leave home, you have a specific type of attachment style because it comes from the parenting style that you came out of. If you leave home and you know when you were at home, you didn't get affirmation. You didn't get love and nurturing. So you're craving these things when you're at home, but you go out into the world and you're starving for attention. You're starving and craving for words of affirmation, love, touch, anything, you know, and that narcissist will create that facade. They just listen to you long enough to figure out what your attachment style is. You know, what is it that you're craving so that they can provide you with that bait, that 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 street drug that that you that you're feeding after. And that is how they pull you in. So it's the inner work that you have to do. Now, the second thing she said, and she said this on whatever they use to impress you is what they will use to oppress you. Oh, my God. You know, she ain't lying. She is not lying, honey. Whatever they use to impress you is exactly what they use to oppress you. When they're love bombing you and they're spending thousands of dollars on you, bags, designer bags, clothes, food, whatever, you know that is the area at which they're going to oppress you because your tail going to be broke like a joke. You're going to be, I mean, just broke. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. You're going to be broke. You know they're going to have your money in hand because you owe them. Everything that they do, you owe them. And so this is your oppression. You wonder, look at your life right now. Look at the relationship that you or situationship you had with this individual and look at the places that you are oppressed. What was it that they put out there to impress you? Cars, money, clothes, intelligence, and then flip it around and see where you are being oppressed. They're calling you crazy. They're calling you stupid. You broke. You don't have anything. And you're thinking to yourself, I had all this stuff before I met you. So ladies and gentlemen, stop being so impressed about what you think that this person can provide. Stop being so impressed by what you see. You don't know what it takes for them to ride around in that car. You don't know what it takes for them or the price another person is paying for that person or that narcissist to show out, show up. And then they're probably using somebody else's credit card, that old supplies credit card to feed you.